Hey, what's going on? It's JRG TV 81 and I'm back with another video. And I just got the update yesterday for the Sony Google TV. Yes, this is the 3.1 update. The honeycomb for Google TV. And it is nice. And I'm just about to show you the interface and whatever. So just check it out. Okay, as you can see, this is the home, my home screen. Haven't really done anything. I have a little Pandora widget and a little clock. You can you can put widgets up here. Let me see. Customize home items. Well, first let me let me just show you when you get it. Like this, it also has a notification. This is the notification, just like with an Android device. You know, you see the notifications. These are your these are your apps. I downloaded a couple apps from the market as you can see. You can even use different launchers. I downloaded um, a launcher. Well, I, 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 well, here it is right here. It's the Honeycomb launcher. You can even add those on there. But There's the market, Android market, Netflix, photos and Pandora and settings and all that. Settings, let's go in settings, let me show you that we're running Android 3.1 as you can see firmware version 3.1 for the Google TV as you see I'm using the Google TV here's the remote up and down up and down just to let you know I'm using the Sony Google TV they said a Logitech review 3.1 update will start next week could be pushing now who knows I have to buy another one the Logitech they're 99 bucks um, this is the Sony, the Sony version. So if you have that, or if you want it, the update not for that is live now. So you can go get that. But let me just show you. I don't have the DVR hooked up, so can't show you that. But there's Netflix. You got YouTube. There's the market. There's the browser. Let's go in the market. Not really too much in the market, but it's something in there. The the the, the feeds you're craving for Android 3.1 on the um, Google TV. As you can see, featured TV. And you got other apps. You click on that. Okay. You can see you can go to view all. And you got a list of apps in here as you can see they have the aquarium live wallpapers and they do actually work I'm going to show you you can see there goes launcher pro I think I have it down no I don't let me download it again install okay but yeah they have a lot of just a lot of little applications on here They have a lot of little applications on here you can download. Not too many, but it's enough to, to satisfy your cravings until they add more. So if we go back. Go back again. You can go down, you see they got games. You can download. Go to top free, view all. You can see they got a couple games in there you can play. So it's looking pretty good so far. I have high hopes for the um, Android 3.1 on the Google TV. Seems like it's going to open up a lot of doors to do other stuff. I also I hooked my um, PlayStation 3 controller up to it. It works. The only thing that works is the D-pad. But if you try, if you like trying to start a game or you know click on something, you can't. I can't get that to work with the um with 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 the PlayStation controller. But the D-pad is the only thing that works when I hook my PlayStation controller up to the Google TV. The D-pad is the only thing that works for me so far. But I hope they fix it. 
Let's go to the home. As you can see, I clicked home and it has Honeycomb Launcher, it has Launcher Pro. If you open up Launcher Pro, as you can see, it looks like a cell phone. Messaging doesn't work. If you click messaging, it doesn't do anything. If you click contacts, it doesn't do anything. Phone call doesn't. But if you do browser, browser will work. And you can also customize the home screen. You can put wallpapers. You can put live wallpapers up. Right now, it only co it, it comes with this one already in there. But you can download more from the market, as you can see. Set wallpaper. As you can see, it works. So that's really cool. So if you just want to leave your screen with with fishes floating on your screen then that's that's pretty cool to me and also if you just like just like the phone if you hold it down and you can set it to the home screen just like that and you can open it up so that's pretty cool to me I also downloaded honeycomb launcher and that makes it look just like honeycomb and it also it does have multiple screens as you can see I can scroll over to different screens that's pretty cool too. So you can have it just like on your on your on your honeycomb tablet. And then you have apps at the top. And you click that, it shows you all your applications that you have in. And you click the plus. It'll pop this up. It'll have widgets up. Let me see. Let's click on a widget. Honeycomb clock, honeycomb digital clock. Let's try that. Okay, widgets don't seem to work. I noticed. Well, with the launcher they don't, but as you seen earlier, like if I go, let me press home. If I go to the regular home screen, as you can see, I have widgets up here. As you can see, look, I have a notification. That notification is just going to let me know that I downloaded Launcher Pro, blah, blah, blah. And I can just, you know, clear all, want to clear it out, boom, just like that. But let's go back to the regular home screen. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Android Market is going to maybe open up a lot of possibilities for this device. Uh, let me click on my apps. Uh, let me see what I have in here. As you can see spotlight spotlight is will be in your in, in my apps where you have you know what I'm saying more applications so the feature you got all you still have all the other stuff games lifestyle so you have all that in there music music apps news still have your HBO go your flickster you know all that good stuff in there video you have revision 3 YouTube and all but all you just have everything up so all your other good stuff is still in there but yeah it's pretty cool let me go in the app let me see what app do I want to show off the games or something let me go in one of the games so it's pretty cool it's gonna be real cool if you can get if you can get your um your, 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 your gaming controller your PlayStation your Xbox controller to work then you can play these games on here pretty cool classic Ball electricity up and you gotta hit the ball or whatever like the media or whatever. So it's a pretty cool game for the kids. Ah. Ah. 
Ah, you got me. But yeah, that's just the game for, you know, you download that from the market. Pretty cool. Kids can play it. You have Pandora. You have your photos. And also, if you have your, you know, your laptop, it has DNLA. So you can, you know, stream stuff like um, music, movies to your Google TV from your laptop without even actually, actually connecting it. As you can see, let me see. Go to your media player. Can't communicate. Okay. See, that's showing like the PC, my PC name. So I, I click on that, which I don't have it turned on now, so it's not going to work. But you, you, you click on that, and you know, you can stream like. If you have movies and music, like I say, you can stream that wirelessly to the um, Google TV. So that's that's pretty cool. But yep, this is G TV eighty one. This is the Google TV with the um, Android three point one update. We have the Android Market, and hopefully they figure out how to put more apps in there, and it'll be real cool. And Maybe they'll get it to where you can use your control. You can fully look, use your, like I hook my PlayStation controller up to it and actually have, you know, the, only the D-pad work for me. And hopefully they get it to where you can have the whole, you know, the whole controller working so you can play games or navigate or whatever with the Google TV. But I'm liking this new Google TV update. It's been a long time, even though I paid 400 for my Sony, the Sony Google TV Blu-ray player, but it's been a long time coming for the you know um, the 3.1, the Android market and all that. But that's a pretty good. I'm, I'm liking this so far. They just you know you just need to upload more apps so you know you can do more, you can be more creative. But like I say, you can put the live wallpaper, you can change the launchers and all that type of stuff. So that's that's uh, that's a win-win for me. And. Yeah, this is the honeycomb launcher and they also have the book, you know, the bookmarks or whatever. But yep, this is G TV 81. This is the Google TV with the Android 3.1 update. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash G TV 81. I will put a link down below in the description section. And subscribe leave a comment if i missed anything is there more more you want to know about anything else you want to see on the google tv leave me a comment let me know and i'll be sure to show it for you and just subscribe and like favorite and i'll see you next time next video i'm out peace